This is a very tough place. It's a hard, tough, bony place. And you need a hard, tough, bony little horse like this to see the best of it. And these guys can go up the slope like a flame going up a fuse. It's a great climb. Then you get to the top, get off your horse, look around you at this extraordinary landscape and the bareness of it. There's wildlife there, but it's hard to see, it's hard to spot because it's so difficult to make a living there. This is a place full of uh, crags and remote places. It's sort of place that's, that's custom designed for big, big, massive, dramatic birds of prey. So you have golden eagles with your breakfast and uh, lama guys with your tea. It's, it's, it's a wonderful and rich place. And yet the, the gentler and the, uh, the colourful birds are, are, are there as well. It's been a rich experience. I'm not, mountains aren't really a place that uh, I've done much of. And you realise how this is a place of sheep and goats and these predators must have such a hard time because they're not gathered together in massive great herds. So it's going to be a real struggle. Everything that lives here is a struggle. But they're tough. They can make it. They don't need any looking after. What needs looking after is the land itself. It's been so encouraging to be here and see this fantastic organisation, FPWC, is doing such a good job with such great people and that we at the World Land Trust are able to help them to do exactly what they need to do. But to come out uh, here and uh, see these things, I say, well, what have I been missing all these years? This is, uh, this is an underdog project. It's not like uh, uh, orang-utans or, or the, uh, uh, the great open savannas of Africa. It's a difficult place to get. It's, uh, it's a connoisseur's uh, wilderness, if you like. But if you look at it, you get absorbed by it and you begin to uh, understand that there's something deeply, deeply special there. What have I been missing all these years? Who needs rainforest?